It's, it's November. November! November is a celebration of our Kickstarter running through November. The Space Bears journey started well over two years ago as my personal custom army. And thanks to the enormous love and support of this community, it's grown into something that we could never have expected. Up to the point where today we have officially launched our first ever Kickstarter. You can officially print and play your own entire Space Bears army. Right now you can go back it on Kickstarter. Links are in the description. And I think before we leap into the epic deep dive of all the models we've made and how we got here, I think we uh, need to do a bit of a sexy preview. All the way back when I was originally obsessed with this hobby, I was in my teens. I loved converting my models. Hey Joss, what's this wonderful project you're working on? Just painting one. Show the paints. And it's a lovely quiet afternoon on a winter's day. So flash forward over a decade when I was rediscovering this hobby, I wanted to create a new army that wasn't something I've already done and also wasn't something that other people have done yet. I remember the conversation I was having with Dave back at the hobby shop brainstorming and there was something about bears. There was something gritty and looming and big and cool. So I began the journey and the mission to convert space marines into my version of bear themed marines. This went through many iterations and color scheme variants and I approached it with an artist and designer's eye and I resulted in this, something I to this day am really proud of. And as much as I loved this design outcome, it just felt like the space bears needed claws. So I started a conversation with Puppets War and a couple of years ago together, we produced custom shoulder pads, claws, helmets, shields, and more. At the time, I had no idea if anyone would join me in that journey. And as it turns out, you guys liked it. And a whole bunch of you started making your own Space Bears army. I think it's safe to say this became a full-blown obsession, which I got to share with everyone and that people seem to really enjoy. And the projects that have been built here on this channel have just blown my mind, have been so exciting to me to be able to share this with everyone. Which is why for a large part of this year, I've been working on something even bigger. Thanks to the help of Velrock, a hugely talented longtime supporter of this community who has his own Patreon and some really great models, we have created an entirely fresh, standalone, self-contained, Space Marine Army design themed around the Space Bears. I wanted to make sure that this new version of the Space Bears could be entirely self-contained and usable in different games. And more than anything, that the variety of models that we aspire to create would center their design philosophy around the gritty, epic, badass vibe that everyone has enjoyed with the Space Bears. So the first port of call to start this project and turn it into its own thing was designing the basic troops. Now obviously there's a lot of science fiction armored warriors out there, and these are joined that impressive alumni. One of the things Jazza really loves is the heavy armor plate and the chains and fur all over these models. However, we needed to leave room in the designs for things to grow, to have elite units, heavier units, lighter units. So that meant a mid ground where we had some level of detail and embellishments, but not completely covered in it. That also means these models are easier to paint for newer hobbyists. Another really critical thing for basic troops was to make sure that they could be used in a lot of ways. And one of the ways we've handled that across the entire Kickstarter is that aside from the big Kodiaks, every other model's arms are all interchangeable. Which means if you get the big meat mashing croquet hammers of the bear riders, they can be interchangeably used with the standard infantry. And from there, we built out a base of weapons and equipment. Some sci-fi revolvers, some awesome hedge trimming blades inspired by an Ojibwe hunting knife, heavy rifles, and of course, the signature bear claws. By designing and making the minis in this way, it ensures that if the Kickstarter is a success, we can add stretch goals in the ways of optional equipment, extra poses, and more customization for these models in a really backwards compatible way, which I think is really cool. So let's have a look at some of those Makwa Marines. So with Jazz's vision heavily involving bear puns, we needed the most Aussie bear pun there is. 
drop bears. So just hearing the term drop bear meant that we were assured to make some flying jump pack equipped models. We wanted to give a real sense of weight to these models. Often flying models look like they're hopping and skipping along rocks. So we deliberately designed these models to have that sense of weight and momentum. Another really cool feature that I loved that we talked about during the design process was having multiple ways to mount them. Some of the drop bears work perfectly fine when mounted glued directly onto a base as if they're running. And we also have flying stands you can print in clear resin or smoke plumes if you want to go for dramatic effects such as these. While we've done some videos showing some alternate paint schemes for some of our tested drop bears, let's have a look at the renders and what these models look like printed now. Now for all the talk of custom bears over the years, there is one thing that has been highly requested and missing, and that is actual bears. Well, the day has finally come. This is something that worked really hard on and Leisha from Insert Art has helped design. And of course, we have made our custom Space Bears Cavalry. I personally feel like there's a lack of versatile and appealing bear designs that could be used on the tabletop for different purposes. And we wanted to make something that could also be that, be more than just the Space Bears Bears. So one of the hugest types of bears in the world is a Kodiak bear. So our big bears, we decided to name the same. Now these massive armored warriors were actually really fun because they gave us an opportunity to explore more bear-like proportions in these power armored super soldiers. One thing in particular I love is being able to visit the idea of this massive bear paw in the gauntlet that these warriors wield. And their extra wide bulk and silhouette is a great homage to the bears they're named after. Another feature I really like about these models is all of them come with the option to be printed with or without capes, which allows you to create veteran squads, normal squads, or maybe commanders or characters, it's up to you. And a final fun note on these before we show all their reveals and renders that I just thought was neat is it's a great example of how concept art when realized properly and to the concept art creates things you weren't expecting. And that's why as a stretch goal, we'll be polishing up these gorgeous sawn off shotgun bears. I personally love it. I think this is really cool and brutal and suits these heavy dudes so much. So hopefully we can get there and put the extra polish into them to make them parts you can print too. Usun Ursa, the head of the Astra Prime Ursa. Usun being the Ojibwe word for father. It's his literally Papa Bear. <laughs> this is a painstakingly converted and customized sculpt that I created with Last Light Creative over a year ago. A hugely painstaking process to create one of the most unique miniatures I own and have been too afraid to paint. I was braver to recreate Usun Ursa in a way that I can share with you guys than I was to actually paint this guy. So I'm going to bite the bullet and promise you that this month, November, is the month that my chapter master, Usun, gets his paint job. We've created a helmet and some different fittings so you can swap the arms, which are also, by the way, still compatible with the Makwa Marine's limbs, to ensure that aside from having the official head of the army, he's also just a great captain or hero unit as part of the Space Bears. But in the meantime, I hope you get excited by the hero figure of the new Space Bears lineup in our Kickstarter. And last but not least, I wanted to make something a little over the top for this whole lineup. We wanted to create a new giant, powerful cyborgian bear fused with its human companion, ultra enhanced through technology to loom over the tabletop and tear apart its foes. With an armament lineup familiar to many of you who play units like this on tabletops so that this unit can be used in a similar capacity. But we wanted to make sure we have a piece of epic in there that is a bit more on the absurd and extreme epic side like we have here with this giant cyborgian bear. It's really absurd and it's really epic. So that's the story about all the individual models and the ideas we had behind them, but I think it's time to uh, see them all together in a pretty epic context.
doesn't end there because there's stretch goals coming which will add even more to this amazing campaign such as additional yeah. poses, extra weapons, the sawn off shotgun of the Kodiak Marines and all the way up at the end of that, the Moab, the mother of all bears. <laughs> Us and Ursa's companion bear, an ancient gnarled giant bear, which we'd love to make but will depend on how successful the Kickstarter is. The more funds the Kickstarter raises, the more we can justify paying for additional sculpting work, professional supporting work, and basically just adding to the Kickstarter. So it can only grow from here, and we're super excited to see where it goes. And your support of the Kickstarter, aside from getting you some great models, is a direct support to tabletop time, allowing us to do big, exciting products and projects like this, but more than anything, allowing us to create epic videos and content for you to enjoy every week. You're not just supporting the Kickstarter in this product, you're supporting us studio and we really appreciate that. So go check out those amazing models sculpted by Valrock and you can check out his YouTube channel as well. I believe he has a video up. A video at up? At this time. Valrock. Absolutely. Go check out his stuff. He's very talented. Thank you Valrock. You've nailed this. We have a, our first Kickstarter. It's a bit nervous making. We've all worked very very hard and it's Halloween. So Dave's gonna put on his giant skull head. Um, happy Halloween! Wait, that's you put the it bottom. on the wrong way. I, I went through you the mouth. I went through ah! the mouth.